However you spend your money, QuickBooks can do a lot of the hard work in tracking it for you, from entering your bills and purchases to matching your transactions. QuickBooks will even show you how much you're spending in each category right from your dashboard. First, let's start with entering and paying your expenses. If you don't have to pay the bill right away, like with power bills or phone bills, you should still record the bill when you receive it. This will make sure your records are up to date and you'll know how much you owe. You'll be able to enter in the supplier's name, the payment terms, how long you have to pay the bill, and what products or services you're paying for. Then, you just enter in the amount you're paying and click Save and Close. If you're entering in a stack of bills, click Save and New. You can also wait to record the bill in QuickBooks until you pay it. In this case, just enter a check if you used one to pay the bill. You can use this method whenever you need to pay for an expense by check. If you paid any other way, like with a debit card, credit card, or electronic funds transfer, use the expense form to record it in QuickBooks. Instead of entering your bills manually, you can also download your transactions from your bank or credit card. You may have already connected your bank and credit card accounts when you set up QuickBooks, but if you didn't, you can do that now. QuickBooks will walk you through the rest. Once your bank and credit card accounts are connected, QuickBooks downloads the transactions directly into your account. The first time this happens, it's up to you to review and categorize your expenses. After you categorize a month of transactions, QuickBooks will learn how to do this for you. The first transaction you see is an expense. If possible, QuickBooks fills in who you paid and what it was for, in this case, office supplies. You can change this information if you need to. In this case, office supplies is correct, so add it to your books. This is where QuickBooks starts to help you out. It found other expenses that look like the one you just added and has assigned them all the same category. If all this looks good to you, add them all. If you're not sure about a category, you can pick Ask My Accountant. When you're done reviewing the most recent expenses, you can go back to the dashboard and see how you're doing. QuickBooks lets you know if you have earlier expenses that need to be reviewed. As you categorize more expenses, QuickBooks learns from you so it can help. A transaction in green means QuickBooks recognizes that you categorized a similar transaction in the past, so it automatically assigns the same category for you. If you see a category in black, that's QuickBooks' best guess for how to categorize this transaction. If it's a wrong guess, just change the category and QuickBooks learns for next time. Now it's your turn to start managing your expenses.